In this video, I will demonstrate the ConnectWise Control Zendesk integration. This extension allows technicians to create and join control support sessions from Zendesk tickets. First, configure the extension. From the Admin Extensions page, click the Extras menu. Select Zendesk Integration Settings. There are seven fields in the General Settings section. First, the ConnectWise Control API token is pre-populated. Copy this token as you will need it when you set up the Control app in Zendesk. Next, enter the URL of your control site in the ConnectWise Control Base URL field. Third, in the Zendesk Base URL field, enter the URL of your Zendesk instance. Next, enter your Zendesk username, which will authenticate the request from Zendesk. Next, the Zendesk API token is associated with the Zendesk username. You must copy the API token from Zendesk and paste it here. From your Zendesk instance, navigate to the Admin tab. Under Channels, select API. You can create a new token using the plus button under Activate API Tokens. You can name the token and then copy it. Then go back to the Zendesk extension settings and paste it. Next, the Zendesk session prefix is used to identify sessions that have been created in Zendesk. You can change this later if you'd like. Finally, the session code link determines the length of the code for Zendesk generated sessions. The Session Summary Postback Content section allows me to select session information that will be added to the Zendesk ticket. This content includes chat history, session events, notes, audit video links, and more. If you turn on Close Ticket, your ConnectWise Control session automatically ends and removes itself when you close the associated ticket in Zendesk. Select your desired settings and click Save Settings. From your Zendesk instance, from the Settings tab, click Manage. Click the Marketplace button, search for ConnectWise Control, and select Install. Confirm or change the account, then click Install. First, the title field changes the title of the app. If you have multiple ConnectWise Control instances, you will want to title them differently so it will be apparent which instance you are creating a session from. Next, for the URL ConnectWise Control Base URL field, enter your control URL. This URL must have the prefix HTTPS. Third, enter the ConnectWise Control API token that you copied from the extension settings in Control. Next, optionally change the Zendesk text in the guest invitation email. Next, the checkbox Generate Rich Content Comments should be selected if rich content is enabled on Zendesk tickets. Next, choose the Enable Role Restrictions checkbox if you want to limit Zendesk roles that have access to the extension. Then select which roles should have access to this app. Finally, choose the Enable Group Restrictions checkbox if you want to limit the Zendesk groups that have access to the extension. Then select which groups should have access to this app. Once finished, Click Install. To use the Zendesk ConnectWise Control integration, I will open an existing Zendesk ticket. To start a support session, click Create Support Session in the Control Panel. There are a few ways to invite a guest to join the session. First, you can copy the URL to send to your guest. Alternatively, Click Generate Public Reply 
to create an automatic invitation in Zendesk. Or you can click Insert Join Link to insert the session link into the ticket for a public reply. Next, click the Refresh button to update the session information. Once the guest has joined, the status will display Connected. Available session information including custom properties, machine information, client version, uptime, and more will appear as an internal note on the ticket. To join the session as a host, click the Join button. Once you are connected to the session, it will be a support session where you can perform actions on the remote machine. Once you are finished, click X to close and then select End the Session. Alternatively, you can solve the ticket in Zendesk and the session will end. After refreshing the Zendesk ticket, information about the session will appear as an internal note. The session created and session ended fields show the date and time of the session. The chat history displays any chat messages sent during the session. The session event history and session connection event history contain a listing of the audited events that occurred during the support session. Finally, the session capture downloads area will contain links to the session videos. This feature requires that your control instance has extended auditing enabled. This concludes the ConnectWise Control Zendesk integration video. For more information, see our documentation at connectwise.com slash control docs. Thanks!